Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Naya. Um, in this video, I'm going to use probably 95 plus percent um, black and brown owned um, makeup brands for the entire look. I have already gotten started in regards to my brows. Um, if I don't have a black owned product, I just won't mention them. I'll just go ahead and use the product and keep it moving. Um, right now, I've started with my brows and I did use the crayon case but I had to do it off camera because you know, brows be, they be playing. They don't be wanting to cooperate. So I just had to go ahead and do them on their own. And then plus the technique that I use is still really old school, you know, very Instagram-ish, but it works for me and I like the results. So anyways, that's what I've gotten started on thus far. I appreciate you clicking on my video. If you wouldn't mind taking the time to go ahead and subscribe. I know it's early, but you're gonna like it. You, you like me, I like you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. Um, let's start out with eyes. Like I said, I've already gotten the brows done um, and then partially primed my eyelids with the Juvia's Place. What is this? I don't even know the full name of this, but it's the Juvia's Place Concealer in the number nine. I think I'm gonna add just a little, little, little bit more. I'm already getting some creasing. Wait a minute, sister. I'm already getting some creasing, but that's just how my eyes are sometimes. Some days is a good day, some days not so much. And today's look like it's gonna be one of those not so much kind of days. Let's get that padded in. Cause I really want this shadow to pop. And also I just wanna make sure my eyelids are um, even. It depends on the concealer and like I said, how my eyes want to react, but I'm going to go ahead and set them with um, some Fenty in the color Honey. Just, just a little, little, little bit. Actually, I'm just going to take what's in the lid and just set that. Okay, so the palette I'll be using today is the Juvia's Place Masquerade. I'm going to try to pull the colors out of my shirt a little bit to create this look. And I'm gonna use the colors in this little bottom two rows here. I'm not sure what colors I am actually going to use. I'm just gonna start using some colors and we'll see how it ends up. We're gonna pat, I'm patting, does it Ada, A-D-A? Ada onto my lid as my transitional color. I want to build up the intensity. This technique works for me and my eyelid and my ability to do my makeup. So this is what I do, pat, and I just build up the intensity. I really like this. So just below the previous color, I'm gonna pack on Zulu.
Okay, so now I'm gonna add another palette. It is the Makeup by Yolando um, Jamrock Palette, No Limitations Palette. It is one of the most pigmented palettes out there. It is gorgeous. I haven't used uh, it a lot. I'm pretty new, but I have watched a lot of tutorials on it and the pigmentation is ridiculous. I'm hoping to take this color Sally and add it to my lid. It's out of my comfort zone for sure, but it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. She is on uh, Facebook I mean, and possibly, I think also Instagram as well, but I'm gonna take this packing brush. It's mostly you, oh, it's actually a concealer brush, but I just need the, this particular style brush. Where's my mirror? Here we go. Look at that. What I could have done to also intensify the color, even though I'm gonna add another color on top, is to cut the crease. But I already knew that the pigmentation of this was gonna be intense. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place, uh, what is these, these are the foundation sticks. And then one name I can't pronounce, the other name is Cameroon in Nam Namibia. I'm gonna use these um, for my foundation. I really, really have been liking these sticks. I rotate depending on, cause I think one I use for contouring, maybe not. Oh, maybe not, that's, well, that's a little light, that's a little light. Little bit, little bit. All right, this is more. So Namibia is more of my shade. I'm gonna take also the Juvia's Place um, brush and kind of pat, pat slash swipe that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place um, concealer in number nine to highlight and number eight to contour. That's pretty much just blending right on into my skin, isn't it? Can't hardly see the contour. All right, the contour's not coming off really as much of a contour at all. So I'm gonna go and use my Fenty, uh, what is this? Match stick and espresso. Probably right on top of them. Let me blend that out real quick. I guess I'll have some dimensional contouring going on, but 
yeah it's just kind of like i just pretty much blend it right into my skin get makeup all in my hair <laughs> okay so i'll take that fenty go maybe a little bit below that now blend up take it here here underneath here and there are the jawline let's take another brush I like to use this one. Okay, so I have that set with the Fenty um, Honey, um, Fenty, what color is that? Fenty Setting Powder in Honey. And I'm gonna use the Black Up Contouring Powder. Uh, contouring number three is all it says. I've had this for a while, but when I first got it, I wasn't nowhere near comfortable in contouring at all. So I'm gonna use this. Face it. Take a little smaller brush and contour my nose just ever so slight. And this is a process that I'm still working on, finding products in a process that works for me. So I'm just gonna take this little powder. Nothing too harsh or heavy. Contour my nose. Crayon case, oops, wrong side. Ooh, ooh. So for my blush, I'm gonna use a Crayon Kate's Watch Me Blush. And I'm going to go into berries. Looking for a big old, there we go. I think this is a beautiful deep color. Actually, you know what? We're not. I'm gonna flip the brush over. Okay. And I'm actually gonna go into tangerine. I 
order to keep the blush softer. So I went with the lighter. Set my face before I put on my highlighter, and this is the Beauty Bakery. Ooh, Sweet Grace Baking Spray. So, 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 uh -oh. and the lashes I am using are so, so Noel. So, but anyways, I'll be right back. I wanted to show you the lashes, but they take me some time to put on. So I'm going to, um, put on my lashes, put on my lip and I will be right back. Okay, so the eyes are on. Um, the lashes, once again, are so, so Chanel. And I had went back into the Masquerade um, by Juvia's Place and added an inner corner. I believe the color was Dahlia. No, D-A-H-I-A, -A. whatever that is, whatever country that is. I need to learn my countries a little bit better. But anyways, I went back and added inner corner and the lashes. And now I'm gonna use the crayon case um, lip liner. I feel like I did something else. Oh, and I added some under, a little bit of under eye and mascara on the bottom lashes. So I'm going to go into now into the crayon case, lip pencil and coffee. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me know what you think of the lip combo. It did take some finagling, some maneuvering, some figuring out. It's just a very nude lip. I hope you like. I would really rather have done a bold lip, but you know, we'll keep it, we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it simple. But I almost forgot the highlight. This is also by Goat Cosmetics. This is not black girl, this is um a Hispanic owned company. I don't know the nationality, so I'll just say a Hispanic um owned company. And I've had it for some time now. It's really, really beautiful. Cause I'm gonna go with something. I think I'm gonna use this one. And I think it's called Prima Donna. But yes, I did almost forget my highlight, honey. Let's see her. Woohoo! There she go. There she go. There she go. Oh wow. There wait, wait, okay. There she go. Where's she going, y'all? I don't know. I'm gonna put some over here though. I just like to put it on where that light is already hitting anyway. Make it pop a little bit more. Then take a smaller brush. And go in where I, once again where the light is already hidden and just accent it a bit more. What y'all think? Go ahead and leave me some comments down down below. What you think of the look? Have you heard of any of these brands? You didn't stay this long through all my bumbling and whatnot. So I appreciate you. 
Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got more coming. I promise I do. So many more brands. So much more product. I may not be out here with the newest, newest, but I'll keep you entertained, baby. What you think? Did you like it before the highlight or you would have left it off? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for staying to the end. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And most definitely don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I appreciate you watching. Once again, my name is Naya and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.